Hello, Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly. We're going to look at some uh, 3D models today and look at also how we can go about printing them. There's a lot of 3D printers out there at the moment. And so we'll, I've been looking for a while for kind of simple applications for my younger students to be able to print uh, directly to a 3D printer or, or through a laptop or something that they can use their iPads for and, and basically create some understanding about 3D models and how that actually goes on to creating 3D physical uh, materials. So I printed off this the other day. Um, it was just a letter S, just looking at blocks. I love this for my younger students because what it actually does is it looks at kind of that Minecrafty type world. Kids love building with blocks. You can actually build quite complex um, structures with blocks and it comes out really well on 3D printers. So let's take a look at Blockify just really, really quickly and let's, let's create a kind of a new world um, here, so that one's going, and this basically works on the principle of obviously um, to zoom in, actually pinching, and with two fingers we can actually change the orientation. So going from left to right with two fingers on our iPad at once, and kind of rotating and actually pinching in. So if I go from the top, this is a fantastic way to look at kind of geometric shapes as well um, in maths, looking at um, how many blocks there are in a structure and being able to visualize where those blocks are and count. So up the top here, I'm just going to create, uh, I've got my free one. Let's just play on this one. Um, I've got my blocks there that I've actually created. Let's go with a new, uh, get rid of that one. And we can start building and it's a simpler case of actually just tapping down. So I'm actually just tapping there and actually making a, a really simple um, structure. I might actually zoom in, getting kids to kind of go around to different sides to make their structure. Um, really, really easy to use. Um, our kids will have no problems at all with this. Maybe our teachers will because the uh, spatial aspect of it is something. So I might just break. We might actually create just a simple really shape here. Let me go up here. And you might actually, this can relate to any kind of curriculum area at all. You might actually, I might just get rid of those last ones. See down the bottom left-hand corner, you can actually get rid of uh, your past mistakes, which is a nice little feature there. And you might actually be talking about, I don't know, structures or some sort of solution. You might be building bridges in tech and design and you might want some visualizations of them. And it's a really simple case of just building on your blocks. You can see there, um, really, really easy to do. Obviously the printing of it. So we might be looking at shade, might be looking at environments, looking at how we can create shades for users um, in the sunny climate of Queensland that I'm in. Um, and it's really, really easy to use. And some of these actual shapes or constructions, I'll just zoom around there so you can see, it could be a nice little patio area there. Um, really, really great way to um, look at 3D modeling and how that actually prints out and so forth. So we could do some really cool things. We could actually uh, take some screenshots of that, bring that into Book Creator, explain everything. We could actually do some surrounding pictures around it, bring in characters, put them under the structure. We could do a lot of cool things. But what I did want to show you today is actually how we get this to actually into a 3D printable format. So I'm just going to pre uh, press that block at the top and I'm just going to press uh, print down the bottom. And it basically gives us two options. So we can actually email it as an STL file or a VRML file. And what that does is it connects really, really beautifully um, to the printer that you've got installed, your 3D printer. And you can actually, I actually like going through my laptop because I can actually kind of vet the student uh, designs first because we know that it takes a couple of hours to print on ours. And so it's actually not a bad thing to have those kind of going through a laptop and so forth. Um, and it's as simple as that. So that's called Blockify. Fantastic little app. There are so many um, applications that we can use in this. The great thing about 3D modeling and 3D printing, we can apply it to any context, especially the tech and design area. Um, but we can also do it in digital storytelling. We can actually do it in literacy. We can do it in maths, creating structures that have certain volumes, certain areas, certain perimeters. We can do a whole range of different things, bringing and connecting the digital world with the physical world. So that's a quick little app for you to have a look at, have a play with in regard to your 3D printers. 3D printers are coming um, uh, cheaper and cheaper by the day, which is fantastic. The materials are still quite expensive, but that's a great little way of actually getting kids to go from the, from the digital, obviously, to the physical. Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly, signing off.